Hi, in this video we're going to show you another method you could use to create your Windows installation flash drive. So lots of people use the media creator tool that you could use from the Microsoft website. And a lot of people also like to use other third-party tools such as Rufus and Ventoy. But uh, EasyOS has their own tool called OS2Go, but it has some additional features that you could also check out. All right, so this is the free version, so there is a pay-for version. So for the free version, you only get to make the uh, Windows installation drive uh, like you could with the other apps. And they also have a couple other features. A Win2Go creator for a new installation where you can pick your version, uh, your language. Obviously just 64-bit these days. And you could choose between EFI and MBR. And then you could also do the Win2Go creator from your current PC if you want to do that. So that way you could have a uh, portable Windows installation. And, but for these, if you don't have the uh, pay for version, you click on Next. It'll kind of go through the layout here showing you what it's going to do. So here's our C drive and here's the flash drive. But then when you get to proceed, it tells you you have to pay for it because it's not activated. And then the same with the uh, win to go creator for a new installation. All right, so for the Windows install drive creator, uh, all you need to do is pick your version. You can even do Windows 8.1 or have a local ISO file. And then once you pick your version, you can pick any subversion if it's available, then pick your language. Then select your flash drive down here. Click on Next. And now you can see with the free version, you have a few options here. Remove the TPM and secure boot requirements. Same with the minimum hardware requirement and account requirement. But if you have the pro version, you have all these other options here. As you can see, there are quite a few here. A lot of settings you could make when you're creating your flash drive here. You can even remove specific apps if you don't want them. Drivers if you want to add some drivers. Some task scheduler options you could configure as well. And services. Once again, these are all the pro versions, but if you're just looking to make a basic Windows flash drive, you could just use these options here. And if your computer can run Windows 11 without bypassing any of the requirements, you could just leave these at Do Not Modify. So once you have everything set, just click on Create. Then you'll see this message here. This program will permanently delete all the data on the selected disk, meaning your flash drive. All right, so now it's going to have to download it from the internet here and then create the flash drive. So I'll pause the video and then be back when it's done. All right, so we're at 100%. So now we just click on finish. All right, now we're back at the main screen. So let's take a look at our flash drive here. All right, so it actually changed it to Windows OS. Now we have our setup EXE and all of our supporting files and folders ready to go. So now, of course, you would have to configure your computer to boot to this flash drive, and then you could go ahead and start your Windows installation after that. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download OS to go, and you could try it out for yourself. And then if you uh, like some of the advanced options, you could buy yourself a copy and use those as well. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.